Hello everybody, welcome back to Skyblock with Zigzag Texture Pack. I'm Yellow Flower, and uh, I have a whole new plan from last time, right? So my plan last time was like, got this grass here and we're gonna let it spread all the way down there. And then hope that we get a few cows or whatever over there and then we can bring them over here. But I think, first of all, that might be too close to here. I'm like 90% sure it's too close to here. Second of all, um, the way spawning works in this game is like you can only have so many animals at a time in one area. And because that's so close to here, which is where I want to put my animals, uh, I feel like if I have them spawning there and then I move them over here to keep them as pets and breed them to make more, then uh, what's going to happen is... There's going to be too many in this area, and I'm not going to get any more over there. So, totally new plan. Uh, I was going to rebuild this cobblestone generator. But I need to, I need to wait until it's daytime before I do anything else, because phantoms 1, Hondo, P are going to come after me. If I don't wait. So I'm going to go get another cup of coffee while the sun rises in this game. And, uh, yeah. And then we'll get started on some stuff. So, oh, wait, I can just tell you my new plan. My new plan is dig up most of this dirt. I'm going to leave a couple blocks so we can plant a couple more trees down here. But then I'm going to branch out to one of these islands. Uh, maybe the one that has the acacia tree. Branch out to there. Plant a little bit of extra grass over there and make that the mob spawning, the peaceful mob spawning area, not the bad guys. Bad guys are going to go somewhere else. Yeah, and so we'll just add a bunch of extra dirt over there, and then when we find some like real nice cows, we can lure them over here. And uh, I should probably build them a, a nice little, well I'm going to need a lot more wood to build them a nice little house over here first. So it's fine, whatever. Gotta figure out. That one looks like flower forest. That one's jungle. I don't know which way Acacia is for sure. I think I might have seen it when I went out branching out that way. Um, but maybe jungle is better because then maybe we can get some ocelots. But do I need ocelots? Like, no. Maybe we can get some pandas, which I also don't need, but which are cute. But right now, I just need it to be daytime. And, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, just gonna get some more coffee and wait. For some reason, I always spill my coffee on the way back to the computer. I don't know what it is. Luckily, the puppy likes to drink all the coffee. It's probably not good for him. I mean, it's only a little bit. I don't spill much of it. It's probably fine. Okay, so we got some plants growing. That's great news. We got just absolute tons of cobblestone. Oops, which is also great news. I need the tree to grow so that I can make some fences and so that I can make some torches. In the meantime, just gonna make a bunch of slabs and See how far we can get. Uh, it's terrifying. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That was the wrong button. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I don't have anything that important with me. We're going to be okay. I'm going to keep telling myself that until I believe it. Okay. What do we got out here? Dark oak. Birch. That's probably where bees are. Don't want to go to get the bees yet because I can't do anything with that yet. Um, dark oak. Mm. Mm, I think acacia. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk walking like a normal person because it's just so slow. Alright, so I'm going to try and branch out the opposite way. My BFF told me that 
I think she left it in a comment that it makes her nervous when I crouch and then the darkness comes up. It's like terrifying. But for me, it's like really reassuring because I know that if that darkness is there, I'm crouching I'm and I'm good. I'm not going to fall. I'm safe. Okay, so we're gonna, let's try branching out here, I think. We'll get some more dirt and we'll get some animals, hopefully. Now I'm going to need to make a bigger path back if we are successful in this. Oh, wait, am I doing it? On, yeah, I am doing it on bottom half. Okay, good. I just want to make sure no creepers are going to sneak up on me because I am not equipped to deal with that. I have zero armor. Uh, I think I built a sword last time. Definitely don't have it with me. Oh, that's mushrooms, not flowers. Okay. There's acacia. What do we got on this side? Oh, cactus. Um, I'm going to try and go for acacia. I don't want to deal with the mushrooms. Not until I know for sure that I have a good way of making more. And same thing goes for the cactus. I'm going to wait until I have a reliable source of sand before I go get more cactus. My crouch finger is getting tired. Oh, it's so far away. Every time I feel like I'm getting close, it looks like it's the same distance. Oh, sorry. Doesn't that look like the same distance? Is it getting farther? Like, what kind of joke is this? Okay. Okay, so I want to get some saplings, but it's almost night, and I want to get out of here before I die. I'm going to plant some more dang trees, because this is just crazy town. Alright, so I'm going to go dig out some of that dirt. Oh, I should dig out some of this dirt first. Well, that, look at, that worked so much better. Already got a tree. Look, another one. This is... Should have built trees sooner. Planted. I say built because I'm just so used to building in this game. I should have planted trees sooner. Like, I'm such a dummy. That's fine. I'm not dumb. It's just, uh, I've never played Skyblock before. And it's okay. Like, it's okay to not know stuff. That doesn't mean you're dumb. Nobody knows everything. My main priority is to get sheeps and um, charcoal so I can get regular stone. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh, this is going to be trouble. I can't. Ugh. Fine, I'll get back to that one later. Arroo. Did you hear my dog? Arroo. I like to make fun of him when he barks and bark back at him. Arroo. He doesn't really care. Oh, what I should do is put all these blocks into the ground so that I can reach the dirt better. Here's my pro tip for the day. Okay, and it's about life, not about Minecraft. If anyone ever says to you, oh, Look how cute this puppy is. We should get this puppy. Be like, no. No, we shouldn't. It's a terrible idea. Not saying I don't love my dog, because I do. He is super cute, and I love him so much. But he's also very energetic and um, very annoying. And he wants to chew everything. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just, like, that's puppy stuff, you know? But, uh, it's... You know, if you have other things you want to do, don't get a puppy. If you don't have other things that you want to do and you just want to, like, take care of a puppy all day, do it. Get a puppy. If you don't want to listen to barking all day, don't get a puppy. If you don't want your other dog to be upset because the puppy's trying to play with her and she has no interest in playing, don't get a puppy. Okay, um, I just realized I can build this later. I need to get that dirt somewhere safe. Because dirt is a precious commodity at this point. 
I'm not even going to normal walk. I'm going to crouch walk all the way over there. The thing about the dogs is they just had a really good nap. Like, um, I, I gave them some toys filled with treats and they played with that for a long time. And that kept them busy. I'm, this is my third video that I've made today. That kept them busy during the first one. And then they took a real good nap during the second one. And now they are wide awake and make a noise again. Now, apparently when my fiance is home here with the dogs on his days off, they just sleep all day long. That's what he tells me. I don't know why they don't sleep all day long for me. For him, they sleep all day long. No problem. I do have to say, though, the puppy is, he's learning to be pretty good. He used to chew up, like, literally everything, and now he mostly only chews stuff he's supposed to chew. He used to try and steal his sister's treats when she was eating them. He doesn't really do that anymore too much. He, you can tell he wants to. He sits there and watches her, and sometimes he'll try to sneak over there if nobody's paying attention. Um, but if people are paying attention, oh, shoot, is it night already? Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. I can put blocks over my head here. Oh, this is so dangerous. But anyway, the point is, he's, he's turning into a good dog. It's just taking some time. And he does still have a lot of energy, which I sometimes do not. I do not have the energy to deal with all his energy. Or sometimes, just like I'm busy and I'm trying to make a video, and he is just being a little bit of a psycho. Um... Okay, so we live here tonight. Just gonna take the dogs out while uh, I wait for the sun to come up again. <laughs> Listen, do you, I don't know if you can hear them running. That's just because I took my headphones off. And as soon as I ask them the question, you're gonna hear a lot of running. Doggos, do you have to go potty? Do you wanna go pee? Yeah, this is my life. Once we get a couple of sheep and a bed, this is going to go so much smoother. Oh, Acacia sapling. Now I gotta make sure I don't fall off. I mean, I'll be able to get it again later from a wandering trader, but that is very far down the line because first we gotta make a mob farm. Get a zombie villager and cure it. That's going to be a while. Well, that's very pretty. Slightly terrifying, but very pretty. What? Monsters? How? Oh, because the saplings. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, this was bad. Oh, don't come over here. Okay, okay. Mistakes were made. It's okay as long as they don't come over here. <laughs> as long as they don't come over here. Oh, look. Zombie villager. I'm not in any position in which to capture him right now, so... Too bad, so sad. But, you know what, here's the thing. This is also good news, because now we know we can just, we can spawn a zombie villager over here. I'm guessing there's probably a higher chance of spawning a zombie villager in, in zigzags than in normal, but I don't know. I mean, not zigzag, um, sky black. So, that's good to know. When we're better prepared, oh, maybe that creeper will just walk off the end. Wouldn't that be nice? When we're better prepared, we can use this to our advantage. We'll just leave one block of dirt and, and try one at a time. Right now it's terrifying. And, and as soon as it's morning and that creeper is gone, I'm going to go put some torches over there. I really want to go see if I can get some sheep to spawn and get a bed uh, and sleep through the night. That's all I really want at this point. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I really, really, really want to sleep through the night.
Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> oh, I don't know what just happened there. My finger slipped. I don't know. It's a close one. Although I'm not carrying anything too major, so it's not. It would have been fine. Still, it's still a little bit scary. Well, the grass seems to be spreading pretty good. Um, it's starting to get dark, so I guess I'm just gonna go back. I was really hoping we'd find some sheep today. No sheep spawned yet. Um, the plan for next time is to have some sheep spawns. Sheeps spawn. So that uh, I can make a bed. And then make a house. And then uh, make some animal pens and start breeding up some sheeps. Not necessarily in that order. But yeah, that is the plan. So, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time when we try to execute our plan. Okay, bye.